hello boys today's topic is agriculture this is the new chapter chapter number 3 agriculture so let's start agriculture is the cultivation and breeding of plants and domesticated animals to provide food clothing medicines and other products necessary to sustain life agriculture began over 10000 years ago this period is called the agricultural revolution prior to this humans were primarily hunters and gatherers they obtained food from wild plants and animals and moved from one place to another place in search of food those people were also known as nomad as they don't know the technique of growing crops so they only move from one place to another place in search of food so agriculture allowed the human population to lead a more settled life and resulted in a rapid growth of the human race humans learned to domesticate animals and utilize them for plowing the field over the years humans have invented new machines and techniques to lead, to till the land and increase the amount and variety of crop production there are many importance of agriculture first importance is this ki that it is a main source of livelihood can you imagine yourself to live a life without food no the main source of livelihood of many people is agriculture 70% people of the people of developing countries directly rely on agriculture as means of living it also contribute to the national income like agriculture is as agriculture is the main source of national income for most of the developing countries the agriculture sector provides food and fodder for the domestic animals agriculture also uh, produce like uh, sugar tea rice spices tobacco and coffee constitute the major items for exporting the main source of raw material to major industries such as cotton textile jute sugar edible and non edible oil is all obtained from agriculture moreover many of them industries like food processing get their raw materials also from the agriculture bulk of agriculture products are transported by railways and roadways fr- uh, from farm to factories now it is also a main source of foreign exchange the nation's export depend largely on agriculture for example uh, we can say that uh, agricultural uh, commodities such as like jute is their spice raw cotton tea coffee account of nearly uh, 18% of the entire value of export in the country thus agriculture produce products are important source of earning of for countries foreign exchange it also give people a great employment opportunity how implementation of ag- irrigation schemes constructions drainage system sowing and harvesting of various crops offer great employment opportunities okay then next is a stable agriculture sector ensures also a nation of food security then economic development of nation also depends on the agriculture growth rate so agriculture is the main occupation but agriculture is possible there only where some factors affect like climate soil topography growing of the season in month of december you can't grow mango so there is a particular season of growing food crops climate also affect a very important role like temperature and rainfall are the main factors required to grow a particular crop moreover different crops require different temperatures and rainfall during their growing period then most important thing is soil the soil requirement 
too differs from crop to crop like wheat is mostly grown in alluvial soil whereas cotton needs the water retentive black soil then season different crop require different length of growing season for example cotton needs 200 days therefore it cannot be grown in british climate where oats can be grown in the northern part the factors such as transport market capital labor and government policy also influence the agriculture all the crops are not grown on the similar terrain example plains are most suitable for wheat and sugarcane whereas tea and coffee are best grown on the well drained hill slopes then see boys i also like to tell you ki there is a difference between types of farming and different uh form of farmings first we talk about the different type of farming to so different type of farming when we are talking about so there are two type of subsistence farming and commercial farming but when we are talking about the agriculture so there are different different type of agriculture like sericulture is there pisciculture is there veticulture is there horticulture is there now sericulture is mostly used for the commercial of rearing of silk worm it may supplements the income of the farmer then pisciculture is of breeding of fish in the specially constructed tanks and ponds viticulture is for cultivation of gro- grapes and horticulture is for growing vegetable flowers and fruits for the commercial use so in next video we will study about the types of farming that is subsistence farming and commercial farming thank you boys